The bright interior of St. Paul Catholic Church in Jaravala's Christian Town neighborhood hides signs of a horrifying mob attack. On August 16 last year, Muslim mobs, enraged by reports that local Christians had allegedly desecrated a Quran, went on a rampage. They destroyed about two dozen churches and looted and damaged several Christian homes across this densely populated city in Pakistan's Punjab province. The desecration and destruction of this place was a huge tragedy for us. After one year, we repaired it. The government provided us with ceiling and wall panels, fans, etc. But now we are doing the actual building work. Sajid Masih's residence from across the church was one of many destroyed that day. A year later, his home is livable again. Thank the Lord. A year later, we are in better shape. A lot of the repair work is done, but much more still remains. With government funds, supports from Muslim charities and help from Christians in Pakistan and abroad, the restoration of churches and homes continues, though many are unhappy with the pace. The scale of the violence that happened here was shocking. Condemnation came from the highest offices of the state. And still, in this last year, Pakistan has seen more incidents of mob violence spurred by allegations of blasphemy. When the state has a weak narrative, it emboldens people. And the state's treatment of those who are involved in acts of terror and extremism, who use the religion card, when the state negotiates with them, they become powerful and the state becomes weak, and it's like holding everyone hostage. Of the thousands who took part in the violence in Jaravala, only 301 are facing trial. Most are out on bail, police records show. Those who were involved in the violence and arson, people cheered them on their release. They were welcomed as if they had done something great. All of the officials who visited us here assured us that we would get justice. But this is a very disappointing situation for us. In July, an anti-terrorism court sentenced a Christian man to death. Authorities said his social media posts containing blasphemous content fanned the August 16 violence. As the community slowly gets back on its feet, fear persists. Our people are not safe. There is no mental peace. Even if something happens somewhere else, we get scared, we lock our doors, we lose our sleep. For now, in the streets of Christian Town, the epicenter of last year's violence, an uneasy calm remains. Sara Zaman, VOA News, Jarnawala, Punjab, Pakistan.